Aloha from MathCamp. I'm Dane, and this mini lesson is about constructing hyperbolas using GeoGebra in a little bit more than five minutes. I'm thinking you may get more out of this if you downloaded a free copy of GeoGebra first. You will recall that a hyperbola is the set of all points in the plane, the difference of whose distances from two fixed points called the foci is constant. So B and A are the foci. You see the distance to this point here is 9 from B, 5 from A, so that's 4. And it's true about these other points here. And if I move the slider, you will see what I end up with is a hyperbola. And notice again that the difference between this number and that number is going to be 4. Now I'm going to show you how to construct this using GeoGebra. First, we'll go to the upper right hand corner, go to New, don't save what I currently have, select Graphing, and again going in the upper right hand corner here, I'm going to turn off the axes and turn off the grid just because they kind of get in the way. I'm going to go up here to Points, select Points, I'm going to do A and B, and the first thing I'll do is find the distance between them. So up here where there's a little angle here, I'm going to select the third option, which is distance or length. And I come up with 7 and 28 hundredths. So I'm going to pick any number that's smaller than that. And since in my previous example I used 4, I think I'll use 4 here too. So click on input here. Put A. If you push Entre, you'll see you get a slider here. Click on the circle, so the slider appears over here on the uh, right-hand side. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to construct four circles. So if you click up here in the circle icon, in the second choice, circle with the radius, click on A. And then where it asks me for the radius, I'm going to put small a. That's what's in the slider. And then I'm going to click on A again. And I'm going to select A minus 4. Okay, so I'm going to have that common difference. I do exactly the same thing here at B. And don't be concerned because the circle didn't show up. Click on B, put in A, then OK. Then click on B again and put in A minus 4. And then OK. If you slide A, you'll see that the to the right, you'll see that the circles get bigger and the small circles actually appear, but um, they don't actually intersect. So I'm going to right click on the slider, go to settings, and over here where it says min, I'm going to change that to zero, press enter. Maximum, I'm going to say, I don't know, 10, enter, and they're going to X out of that. So that's going to allow me to move a little bit out to the right, and you'll notice that now they intersect. So what I want to do is I want to go here where I have points in the upper left. I'm going to select Intersect, the fourth option. And I want the intersection of the small circle from A and the large circle from B. And the large circle from A and the small circle from B. The only other thing I'm going to add is if you go up here to Lines, pick the second choice, Segment. I'm going to go from A to E and from E to B. I'm actually all done, except I want to get some lengths here. So if you go back up here to the angle, the, the measurement tool where you see the angle, go to distance and length, click on this segment, click on this segment. Now we just have to clear out the clutter. So I'm going to left click, I'm sorry, right click, on the circles, and I'm going to eliminate them at least visually. So where it says show object, it's gone. Right click, show object. Okay, so you do that with all the circles. They're still there, by the way. They just aren't showing up. I'm going to do the same thing with my original measurement. I don't really need that. And these points, I don't need their names, um, so I'm going to 
say show label off but they're still there and when I right click I also want to put show trace so you're going to eliminate their names and you're going to change it to trace And I think I'm ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my slider here and I can actually move it to the left or right or I can, I can click on this little arrow here and it will do it automatically for me. Isn't that beautiful? That is a hyperbola.